with us used to work in the WRC, moving into the Soup 2000 project, the regulation changes has been quite a quite a big thing for us because there's, there's, there's been a lot of materials banned that we've used in the past, like ceramic wheel bearings. We have to use steel, for instance, now. Um, and titanium is completely banned on, on this formula. So we're, we're looking at, again, different versions of steel to do similar jobs. So I guess the, the, those challenges have been been interesting certainly because it's given us a new new direction but yeah they've been the biggest ones. Use quite a lot of our knowledge from the WRC car to be honest, um, you don't just do things and forget them surely and we, we've had a successful WRC car so there's been been quite a, quite a lot with the suspension design and carrying over all the good parts that we know and making them fit the Super 2000 formula to the, the best advantage we can. It's been a very tight time frame actually, uh, part of that's been self-induced from the company point of view because we want to get it out for sale and be ready running in 2010. Um, but luckily we have, we have a really good team, everyone does actually work really close together, we, we all sit in, a, in the office just split by a few metres really and it means that we can, we can just, just get on and, and make sure that everything is working and happening together and it, it relies on everyone pulling together and, and luckily they do, so yeah we've had a good, good, good chance of it. We set ourselves the September deadline for running the car and we made that deadline. Um, first of all we went off to a local airfield where we do a lot of shakedown for the WRC cars and we, we completed, I think it was actually about 500 and something kilometres there. Um, we were very happy with the performance that we had, just the normal system checks, making sure everything worked, nothing clashed, all this, that, the other. Uh, and then we moved straight on to another local testing facility but on gravel stages um, and we completed a thousand kilometres at that test site. Uh, that was very encouraging because we had, we had some good results from all that. And we've just come back from France where we completed the first rough gravel testing and some tarmac testing. Uh, that was really good, another good result because we managed to get some, some good distance out there and we uh, proved the car was strong under some very hard conditions, so that was, that was good. And now we're just moving more on to the fine tuning, the, the setup tweaks to try and just improve the car, make it that, that little bit better really, so very happy with it.